Hello fans, it's the Beacon of Moral Fortitude, your king and leader, Cody the King of YouTube, coming at you live, hot and ready, with another earth-shattering video. As you all know, I have never been a big fan of bees. I think they're annoying, I think they're useless, and quite frankly, I think they're very, very ugly little creatures. So, uh, when I see a box of, uh, honeycomb cereal, I, I simply, uh, I usually get filled with righteous anger when I see a box of honeycomb cereal. I don't care that bees make flowers. I could care less about that. I don't pick flowers. I could care less that bees make honeycomb. I'm not a fan of honeycomb cereal by any means. So I could care less about all of that. But uh, I am able to put aside my biases for five minutes to make a video. I don't even care that the mascot for the honeycomb cereal is a big stupid bumblebee with a honeycomb for a head. I don't care about all that. Now, uh, you may be asking yourself how a man like me even came into possession of a box of honeycomb cereal in the first place? Well, the answer is quite simple. I walked into a grocery store and I headed over to the cereal aisle. Uh, of course, some people along the way, I said, hello, how do you do? But they were too intimidated by me to even say hello back. Perhaps it was the fact that I uh, carried a golden a walking stick with me, a royal golden walking stick, or perhaps it was the fact that I held out my hand for them to kiss as I walked by. The common folk seemed to be intimidated by a man like me. But I made my way to the cereal aisle and I saw a box of honeycomb cereal turned around and I looked at the back of it and it had a seven day challenge, what I immediately uh, phrased in my head as a challenge. Seven days of trying to uh, do certain things to improve your life. And of course, I've never been one to back down from a challenge. So I immediately scooped up this box of honeycomb cereal, took it to the register, sat it down, said, I'll take this box of honeycomb cereal and I'll do this challenge if, and, uh, even if it's the last thing I do. And the cashier rung me up very quickly. But uh, let me give you a look at what I'm talking about. The honeycomb challenge. Uh, it's said to, if you do this challenge, it becomes the biggest week ever. It'll be the biggest uh, week of your life. Seven days, seven ways to make this your biggest week ever. Whoa, biggest week ever. All right, so I went through a week of all this. I looked at what to do every single day, and I did each one of these things every single day. And what do you know, folks? It was quite easy for me to do. But let's give a recap of the honeycomb challenge that I very easily completed. Let's find day one. Day one, be kind. Practice a random act of kindness. Well, that's pretty easy for me. Every day is an act of kindness for me because my videos are actively improving the world. So whenever a new viewer, as millions do every day, views one of my videos, that's an act of kindness in itself. But of course, I did other acts of kindness as well. For example, I printed out the transcript of many of my videos and handed them out to people in various locations so they could read the words that I said in my videos. And I also said things like I would walk to, I'd, I'd walk by some guy that didn't necessarily have a uh, nice looking haircut and I would say to him, boy, that's a very nice looking head of hair you've got. Let's find day two. Be confident. Don't be afraid to be your, your unique self. 
Well, of course, that's pretty easy for me, folks. Be confident. I walk up to a guy, say, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? Hey, buddy. And that's how I show I'm confident. Day three. For 24 hours, be adventurous. Try something you've never done before. Now, this one was actually one of the most challenging for me. Uh, there's not many things I haven't done. So, to be especially adventurous, what I did was I began digging holes in my yard and tunneling through them. I dug big, deep holes and I tunneled through them as if I were some sort of uh, mole. Let's look for day four. Be creative. Make something cool. That one, of course, was pretty easy. I go over to build a bear. I make a bear that's pink and black and purple and it has horns on its head. And I go and show it to the townsfolk. And they all are getting very scared of this uh, little creative bear I've created. Day six, let's take a look. Be a dreamer. You can achieve great things if you dream big. So day six, I didn't even have to, I didn't even have to, uh, I didn't even have to be awake for day six. How easy is that? I go to sleep. I start dreaming that I'm walking on a, a cloud in the sky. I start dreaming that I'm climbing up a big, uh, uh, a big uh, mountain. I'm climbing up a big mountain and I jump off and I, I start flying and everybody uh, below is looking up and uh, uh, singing my praises, saying what a great man I am. Very easy for me to dream big. Alright, we made it to the final day. After 24 hours of being kind, of being confident, of uh, being a, a big adventurer, of being creative, of being, uh, being, uh, being independent, uh, being a dreamer. Oh, it looks like I forgot the independent uh, part. Well, independence is pretty easy for me. Nobody tells me what to do. <laughs> Uh, independence for me I can walk on the street nobody's telling me where to walk nobody's telling me where to go nobody's telling me what to say all right but let's look at the final day day seven 24 hours of being brave be confident in doing the right thing If there's one thing that defines me, folks, I think many people would say it's bravery. So on the seventh day, what I did to show how brave I was, was I would go up to people on the street and I would tell them, hey, you look like a little punk. And I didn't care how tough they were. I didn't care how strong they were. I didn't care how much money they had. I would go up to them and I would say, hey, you look like a little punk. And boy, did these people on the street begin to get a taste of my bravery. So that is the honeycomb challenge, successfully completed by me. Honeycomb has been asking people all over the world to upload their story of completing the honeycomb challenge. And to my knowledge, I'm the first to oblige. I'm the first that was uh, brave enough <laughs> to even upload uh, this video. Honeycomb can help fuel your dreams. While that is not uh, true at all, I would like it to be on the record that this is another challenge I easily completed. I thank you for your time, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I wish you all a good night.